the cannabis industry, what you see is a brand new industry where everyone is starting from scratch. I've always wanted a bakery. Weed is legal in Colorado. Go for it. I'm an evolutionary biologist. The youngest person to have a license in New York. I'm the founder and CEO of a cannabis health and beauty aids line. Well, not only are they odor controlled, but they have a lot of pockets. Because a lot of our patients were asking for products for their pets. Wag your tail if you like CBD. There you go. <laughs> and I just became, at 60 some years old, a centerfold in Newsweek magazine. For so the first time, you're seeing women on an equal playing field with men. So there is no glass ceiling. We're building it together. In the cannabis industry, we have more female-owned businesses than any other sector of the American economy. You know, women are creative by nature. The plant is a female plant. We have the opportunity to create the first billion-dollar sector that is not dominated by men. I'm passionate about bringing good science to this industry. If you don't have any science, you know, how are we going to figure out why this plant works so well? The plant is the core of the whole industry. But if your plant doesn't work, the industry collapses. You know, we can't have a war on science. Elected officials have to make decisions based on data. We're doing the earth a favor. It's zero waste. You can use the entire plant. How do we build community? How do we build engagement? How do we build standards for sustainability. Let's make it more sustainable and put that outside. This the wellness product. I call it a smart drug because it only targets the parts of the body that are experiencing dysregulation and it leaves the healthy parts alone. We want everyday doctors to be able to look at cannabis as an option along with all their other treatment modalities and cannabis is just part of your toolbox. No, I wanted to scream it from the mountaintops. If you're going through cancer treatments and you're not using cannabis, you're really going through a lot of pain that you don't have to. They said, where's all the other Mexicans? I said, in prison. And damn it, if I'm gonna sit there and let them go to jail or prison, or we're smoking a joint. Why should the African-American community care about legalization? We should be a part of this conversation and be at the table, because if we're not at the table, we're on the menu. You should care because it's going to bridge a gap between cannabis, commerce, and the community. If we, as an industry, sit around and enjoy the progress that others have suffered for, we're not better than any other industry, and in fact, we're worse. So the war on drugs has been waged in the name of young people, and we're here to stand up and say no more. I got to shape the national dialogue around cannabis businesses, but I got to come to SSTP to do something fucking revolutionary. We've gathered everyone together to raise the youth voice and get it heard all the way across the street. The cannabis industry is the poster child for why community-driven, holistic businesses are the wave of the future. This is an industry that was born of a movement. When you walk through the door of our organization every morning, you have to know that you walked in here and your job is to be an activist. This industry is going to be different, but it depends on us, and it depends on who we give the power to. But with that, not surprisingly, comes responsibility and accountability like any other industry. The greatest harm that's associated with marijuana is actually the prohibition of marijuana and the laws that have been created around it. If my brothers and sisters have a drug problem, I'd expect them to get help, not put in prison. We're having legitimate conversations about the failure of the war on drugs. It is the door that you take your foot and you bust it down. So we're a movement, an industry, and consumers that are all working together. The best way to light a fire in my ass is to tell me two little letters, N-O. We got the power! Yeah! We just won! Never give up. I believe walking the walk is the most powerful thing I can do.